In the last round, Chef Emily won. So, Chef Holden, you get to pick an item from the menu board. Truly tasteless. Oh. Yeah. Tasting is everything. Let's rob her of it. For this molecular trio, I am making a celery root soup, a sous vide spiced carrot, and a pressed watermelon salad. I'm going to make a stuffed date, a salmon tartare, and a sous vide lamb chop. My third dish is a celery root soup. The molecular aspect is actually going to be the topping. It's going to be a pickled cabbage film. Chef Holden. How are you doing, Adam? How are you doing, more importantly? Just great. So this is a celery root soup? This is a celery root soup with a pickled cabbage foam and mustard oil. And where is the foam? Right over here. Many people hate pickled cabbage. Wow. Eat it, eat it, eat it, eat it. I have this ready. Mmm. <laughs> Tangy. <laughs> but it's going to go great with the celery soup. Chef Catherine, hey. how are you doing? Good. What are you working on? The salmon tartare. How much of a disadvantage is it not being able to taste? I wish I could taste the salmon tartare. I'm a little bit worried about that, but rules are rules, right? So this is a blind taste test, chefs, meaning Chef Keller, you have no idea who cooked what. That's right. He's a really tough critic, and I haven't tasted anything. I hope it's passable. I think overall, when it came to molecular cuisine, I expected a little bit something a little bit more spectacular. Salmon tartare is kind of classic. There was a little spice in it. And I think the spice was perfect because the, the seasoning is a little bit bland. I have no idea what he's going to think. Whoever contestant was on the page with uh, the molecular cuisine, I think I can see a little bit more in that dish. Here on the soup, I, I can see some of it coming up really nicely. That is definitely, hands down, the best dish out of everything I've tasted. The soup. Right the soup. It really works together. Between uh, both dishes that have been put together in an hour, I'm still amazed that it has been done uh, so beautifully. I would say the winner is... Yeah! yeah!